1,100 poker players have qualified online to take place in a week-long poker festival on the high seas. This is the Poker Cruise. This Irish ship that's floating around the Caribbean for 10 days. Just over 50% are from uh, England. A quarter of our customers here are from Scandinavia. And um, then next lots are then Danes, Africa, Tanzania, Ghana, Australia, Canada, Portugal, Spain, Holland, Italy. This is the United Nations on a boat. I started off modelling in 1998. Mm -hmm. I won Miss Great Britain. And from that, I met a few of the other page three girls, and they were getting really good jobs and doing TV, and that's what I wanted to do. So um, I decided to do page three. Oh, I don't think I'm going to find a boyfriend on this cruise. Jamila's on a hunt for a Swede at the moment. So I'm not on a hunt for a Swede. Let me actually tell you, I'm not on a hunt for a Swede. I've told you earlier, I don't really like Poker's wearing a bit thin now. I mean, I, I like to play tournaments now more than cash games. Before, I used to love cash games, but I've always loved jumping up on a stage and rock and roll. I suppose I'm a bit of a show off and a bit of an entertainer. And... There's a lot of pressure on you. People always want to see you do badly. I'm actually here to work as well for Labrook, so a lot of corporate entertainment and bits and pieces. Yeah, I will play some cash games, but uh, it's going to be more social. Um, and mixing in with the guys rather than really putting my head and heart and soul into it. But the fun of poker, where once upon a time I would do anything I could to play poker, that's, that's kind of a, it's a job now. How sweet it is waking up on the high Caribbean seas with eight days of sun to look forward to. So why that funny feeling in the pit of your stomach? Oh yeah. There's a million dollar poker tournament kicking off today. In the tournament area, guys are milling around with gnashing teeth and sweaty palms. This is it, this is the big time. But meanwhile, Lalani and Jamelia, well, they've got other things on their mind. Um, yes, it's all about the eye candy. If I stand here, I, I reckon you'd be seeing the camera. Cool. Over to my left shoulder, I reckon you'll be able to see the candy. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I've got it, but I've got to put my glasses in every minute. If I keep them, we can give the game away, and I wouldn't want to do that, would I? Well, very good to see you, you know. Really? Are you zooming now? The main event. Some say poker is one long game, but it's really about a few big moments. $5,000 to enter this tournament. Although most will say they got in for only $10, but that's what poker is about these days. Win an online qualifying seat for a toothpick and build a forest. But that's not what they're all thinking right now. These players are thinking, today's the day I'm a poker player. This is my big chance and no one's more nervous right now than Roy the Boy Brindley. This is his chance to silence his critics. I used to be involved in greyhound racing. I thought, it's kind of funny, I thought I had everything when I was doing dog racing. Um, I started off working in kennels, I became a greyhound trainer, and uh, I then by sheer accident started writing about greyhound racing and I eventually ended up my own magazine, and I thought, this is it, I've cracked it, I'm so happy with life, this is great. I go around all these dog tracks everywhere and I have this magazine, isn't it fantastic? And maybe it's kind of like being married and thinking you're happy. Because the minute I discovered poker, I was out of the magazine business within six months. And it would have been quicker if I could have got out quicker. Um, and what I thought was happiness was actually a grind and, and a, a real chore and, and there was no happiness in that. At the end of the cruise, everyone's got to go and do a little celebrity get on stage. And I'm doing a rap song, a poker rap song. Yeah, so see me making notes, that's what I'm thinking of this shit to write. I did some commentary in a TV tournament in England, and they got this uh, person to do some, because they're going to use Kenny Rogers, you know, no one to hold them, no one to fold them, that, that. And so that, that's been done a million times. So um, they got this guy to write this rap song, and it was crap. 
So I said, look, I can do better than that, leave it to me. So, yeah. so um, <laughs> but I was drunk at the time, and it sounded good when I was drunk, but now I'm sober, I'm really struggling. But this, this is all going to be the... Um, it's rather good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see me in seven days on stage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Me as a shit and bricks here, but me don't want to tell you that, you know what I mean? Pressure really heating up in that tournament room. Action moving, but up on deck, poolside. Lalani and Jamelia, well, they had plenty on their plate to juggle. We've got busted. I think they've caught on to our trick. They've sent the friends round to the pool and are watching us to see if we turn our little camera around. That's what it's about. We've basically been busted. Yes. Haven't we, Jan? Yeah, we've been busted. But see, it's all part of the game, you know? So. Poker's the great equalizer these days. There's no laurels in this game, even when you're at the top, like the devilfish. Still got to show the best hand sometimes. Yeah, I think if people are a little bit frightened, it's a bit of an edge. I mean, no, I mean it's, it's actually counterbalanced now by the fact that everybody sees the cards under the tables, what you're playing. They all see it through the glass and, uh, and on the cameras. And uh, so now everybody wants to take me on because they all think I've never got anything. So it's tough to get through a field nowadays, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, TV is good for it's, it's it's good for poker and it's bad for poker because it 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 lets everybody see how you're playing and and the the, the blinds are ridiculous when you're playing in TV, most TV uh, televised tournaments, you know. So they take a lot of the skill out of the game, but on the other side, the coin they bring money into poker, so it can, it's got to be good, right? I just got a divorce from the missus, from the wife, and uh, she's an absolute diamond and I love her to bits, and I always will. But unfortunately, we, we, things just slipped apart, you know? And um, it's my fault, because I've, uh, I've always been a bit of a womanizer, unfortunately. And um, I love my kids to bits, so I'm now living in an apartment, so it's, not, it's definitely not the best time of my life. I mean, I could move back tomorrow, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to move back and make everybody miserable and happy, so um, I'm going to, you know, take it on the chin and, and, uh, and carry on, but um, you know I've got a lot of things going for me. It's a pretty cool, cool time. Things started out okay for the Devilfish and Roy the Boy. They raked a few pots, stacked a few chips, but it's not about one-day wonders to win a tournament like this. It's four or five days of hard graft, and there's always snipers out there looking to pot you down. Sometimes all you want to do is run away and call your loved ones. Well, I can't stand looking out of a suitcase, but there's not enough, there's not enough space, and I don't like putting it in these drawers because they look a bit grubby and my clothes are all clean. So much I'll just leave some stuff that doesn't need ironing, like in my case, my bikinis. And what do you mean it doesn't work? All my stuff that might get creases in the wardrobe. Tell me the number again. Maybe he's not doing a code or something. I'm sure he's... Yeah. 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 Oh, that should be it. Well, you can also do... I can't put my phone on, there's no reception. There's absolutely... We're at sea. Listen, I can't speak because it's like $8 a minute or something absolutely ridiculous. So, um, I can't... All right, so I'm just going to tell you that I love you and I'll have to speak to you, like, in a couple of days. All right, love you. Bye. Oh, phone numbers don't work. Great. They want, want the smartest thing to do, really. Can you just turn the camera off, please? We're not there.
Well, the poker players might have thought they had it tough downstairs, trying to figure out a 57% edge into a four card out, but it was nothing compared to what Lalani and Jamelia were about to endure. Not only do they have to contend with boy watching and sunbathing, but they were about to meet the rigors of a lifeboat drill. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Once again, your attention, please. At 10.30 this morning, a general emergency and lifeboat drill will take place for all guests and crew. At the sounding of the ship's alarm bell and internal alarm bell systems, all guests are to proceed to your muster stations wearing your life jackets, as indicated on the notice behind your stateroom door. Participation in this drill is mandatory according to the United States Coast Guard and Safety of Life and Sea Regulation. Hysterical. Right. Well, here are the life jackets. So just keep them with us for the moment, so that you don't get interrupted. Yeah. Right. Um, I feel like a real dickhead to take walking out of this life jacket if no one else does. Oh, do you mean Come on, we've got to just take it. Yeah, some men here for later. due to be a long night. Poker players were downstairs in the tournament area, grinding it out. Or at least the survivors were. For the others, 
It was a long walk with nowhere to go. You know when you really want your mum? Kiss it, kiss it better and say, you know, I'd like the sun, never mind. You know, mummy loves you. You're all right. Yeah, good, mate, good. So am I right or am I out? Out or all right? Out. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not all right. So yeah. Yeah. How are you, mate? You're yeah, right. not too bad. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been having fun for about an hour and a half now. <laughs> oh, you got knocked out an hour and a half ago, yeah. Right, right on the break. The last, the very last down. We'll, we'll, we'll get over it. it. You'll get over it. Well, Until well, uh, tomorrow. I just, just said to the next time it starts. There's, there's going to be ten people delighted that made the final table, and there's going to be hundreds of us just yeah. all pissed off beyond belief. Yeah, there's going to be bad big yeah. stories going on. Roy wasn't the only poker player wondering what next. Well, the devilfish found himself sitting at the wrong table as well. Uh, basically, um, I met two moves today, um, twice, once with the flush draw, once with the straight draw. And, uh, and I missed both times, which is why I'm sitting here now, really. And um, really, against these, these internet players, you know, you make a move over the top of them, hoping to take the pot off from there and then. But if they call you, you've got, you still have your two to one chance, you know. But these internet players always call you, so you've always got to catch the two to one chance. So, so really, one, one the smartest thing to do, really. But I'm cool, never mind. I got like, I got eight days to enjoy myself, right? Have you sort of noticed the stories are now coming in, everyone's got some sort of how unlucky I was, and you've you got to kind of listen to what they've got to say, because it's, it's so important to them, but at the end of the day, you stood there thinking, Christ, you know. <laughs> you're going to hear a lot of these by the end of the week. You know? Shall we go for a drink then? And yeah. We'll go for the 36 a bit. OK. I'm good. sorry. Good to see you. Sorry I messed the tournament up. It's all right. I really did mess it up as well. Are you out? Oh, Are yeah. you? Blew me brains out, yeah. Why, what happened? Did you lose patience, just, or was it the back rations? No, I lost patience. I just totally, totally lost... What? No, just any faith of seeing a hand. It's like for so long you don't see a card, so then suddenly you think you're not going to see it. You know it's a four-day tournament. Yeah, I know it's a four-day tournament, but I'm dwindling away. It's now 500 every round of the table, and I can't sit there much longer. I'll make a move on the button, and then call it on. It looks like he's going sailing, doesn't he? Listen, let's go for a drink. Okay. And then um, we'll meet up with Max. Yeah. Yeah. Poker's a tough old game. You wake up eating crackers and find out you chawed on sawdust. Roy the boy and the devilfish, they came on this ship with a dream. It's only the first day and that dream is done. How is Roy Brindley gonna justify his place on this cruise? How is the devilfish gonna stay on top? They ain't spinning sevens right now. And for Lilani and Jamelia, well... They were about to walk into a whole heap of trouble themselves. So you're going to play in the ladies' free roll, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. I'm playing too. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>